Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the brand new Transformers Beast Wars reissue Cyber Shark. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my friend Alex who found Cyber Shark for me because my Walmart never gets anything, so Alex, Thank you so much. So let's take a quick look at the packaging. We've got Beast Wars, Transformers, some great artwork of Cyber Shark right there. Cyber Shark himself behind that big plastic bubble. Maximal Cyber Shark right there showing his transformation. Back of the package has his file card and the instructions. And I am really excited to get this guy opened and check him out because I have no experience with this figure. This is one that I just didn't pick up when Beast Wars was out originally in the 90s. I only collected Predacons for some reason, but this guy looks awesome. So now, without further ado, let's get this shark out of this bubble and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Cyber Shark all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see that he actually comes in two pieces, the main body here and the tail. And all you need to do to put him together is right there is a hole on the back of the shark and you have a peg right there at the end of the tail. Just slot that right in and now you have Cyber Shark hole. And this is actually a really good looking shark mode. I love the paint applications. As I said earlier, I have no experience with the original figure. I'm just going off of this guy right here and he looks awesome. So I didn't know if the original had all this paint deco or not. I'm not sure if hammerhead sharks are spotted, but is what it is. I think he looks great. Got red eyes right there at the end of his hammer. And I like the fact he has metallic teeth, though I do wish the jaw or the lower jaw came out just a little further. He's kind of got a derpy look to him, but still, this looks really, really good. Of course, underneath, you can see the robot legs hanging out underneath, and he's got a pretty sizable gap right there, and it just, it will not shut. You're just going to have to deal with that as it is. Now, articulation for his shark mode. The fins are attached via ball joints, so you can move those around for any swimming positions you'd like to do, but that's it as far as articulation. Now he does have a couple of gimmicks right here. You can see the switch on top of his head. You hit that and his face falls off. I don't know if the original could really shoot that far, but this one, it just falls off. And what's cool is it reveals a robotic skull underneath and I do believe if you look right there that could be an eye if there was some paint applications that would look cool it'd be like the flesh fell off the shark it was like a terminator shark underneath so I like that but yeah there's not much force to that face falling off another gimmick is back here on the tail there's another lever right here push that toward the tail here and this blade pops out. It's like a serrated saw blade. 
So that's pretty cool. We could swim up on somebody and just cut them right in half. So that is pretty much it for shark mode. Let's go ahead and get him transformed into robot mode. Really, really simple. What we're gonna do is remove the tail once again, and then you're going to split the shark in half, just like so. Then you're gonna bring this section up here. And what's cool is for the transformation, shut these back up. You can see his fist right here. The heel spurs plug into those fists. So I wanted to point that out for you. Now you're gonna bring this whole section down and there's a peg right here that's gonna slot into that hole. Get that lined up, pushed into place. Go ahead and bring the legs down, bring the feet out. You got the arms right here. You wanna bring these out and rotate around so the fists are facing the proper direction. And there we have Cyber Shark in robot mode. And he is quite top heavy. He's got a lot of backpack. So probably gonna have to hold this guy for a while. Now robot mode is just bonkers. <laughs> I love this robot mode. He carries over all the same color from the shark there on the chest. And I do like the inside halves right here, how that's red. It's almost like the flesh split apart and he's got some nice sculpted details right there. I wish that was painted. It almost looks like ribs, but it's attached to the jaw. So I guess it's just jaw texture. Like I said, I'm not an oceanologist, marine biologist, whatever it is, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this guy looks cool and love the face sculpt. That is just so sharky. It even has a fin on top of the head. This figure reminds me, I'm gonna date myself here. Remember the old uh, toy line and TV series, Tiger Sharks? It was kind of a Thundercats ripoff. This figure reminds me of that show. Love the red eyes, the toothy mouth. I mean, that guy looks awesome. Let's get into articulation. The head is on a ball joint. Can look up, they can look down. Complete 360. The arms are on a ball joint as well. It's Beast Wars, they were all about ball joints. They can move all the way around, but they are gonna get hit back here on this half, shark half. There is a rotation. At the shoulder, there is an elbow bend. The legs can go back, they can go forward, but they're gonna hit this shark head. There is a knee bend, and the ankles can go back and forth. Now, you have the tail. Let me see if I can get this guy to stand up. Straighten his legs out perfectly. Stand up. Okay, so you have the tail right here. This will form his weapon. Now the instructions show, you flip this little peg out right here, that you make this an underslung weapon like so. Go ahead and flip the lever and he's got some kind of claw gun thing. So yeah, the instructions show underslung, but I personally like it pegged on top of his fist. That way, when he is attacking a Predacon, he can actually, you know, Swing that forward, come on, and cut him right in half. I just, I like holding, at, I like him holding at the top better. So yeah, we've got that going on. So other things he can do, let's go ahead and remove this weapon, is you can actually flip up the chest, just like so, and launch the head from robot mode. Yeah, it launches so good, yeah. So let, let's see, let's bring in the notoriously evil quick strike right here. None of my figures want to stand up for this video. And I'm going to leave it all in because I am home alone. The family is gone, giving me time to film. Of course, nothing is going right. So here we have quick strike, getting ready to attack Cyber Shark. Oh no, you don't. Okay, yeah, very anticlimactic right there. But with the shark head off, I love how he cleans up. That looks awesome, especially with the silver right there. It just looks a lot better without the shark head. Now you can take the shark head, and as you can see, it's got a little peg right there. You can peg that into his hand as a melee weapon, like a hammer of some sorts. I mean, after all, it is a hammerhead. But 
He's got some hidden features as well, extra hidden features rather. If you look right here, that is missile storage. So behind the figure, you got the back of the missiles here. There are two of them. I'm just gonna pull out one. And first off, look at the sculpted details on these little missiles. See how it's got a shark face on it? You can see the eye, the mouth, the teeth, and the gills. I think that is so cool. Nice little hidden details there. Go ahead and flip out this launcher once again. And this thing has a lot more power. Let me show you. It actually launches across my table. So now let's bring in Quick Strike, talking smack to Cyber Shark. Now let's see what you got, buddy. Ah, that took him out. That wiped out Quick Strike. So yeah, the missile launcher for missiles actually works. Also, you can take the missiles and they fit in his hand as well. So he has more melee weapons. So this guy is armed to the teeth, pun intended. So you got your missiles, you got your bladed weapon here. You've got your hammer. Now with all that stuff hooked on to Cyber Shark, maybe he'll stand up a little better, maybe. Yeah, there you go. So there you go. There's Cyber Shark, all armed and ready for battle. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the new Transformers reissue Beast Wars Cyber Shark with the original Beast Wars Optimus Primal, the original Beast Wars Cheetor, the reissue Beast Wars Rat Trap, and Kingdom Air Razor. The Transformers Beast Wars reissue Cyber Shark is a fun figure. I have had a blast with this guy. This is one figure when I got him, I immediately filmed the intro so I could hurry up and get him out of the package so I could mess around with him and he is a ton of fun. I love all the gimmicks on this guy and that's something I really miss with modern figures like all the hidden gimmicks within Cyber Shark. The Beast Wars figures did that so well. They hid all those gimmicks and weapons and missiles within the alt mode so you could take them out and use them in robot mode. Everything was self-contained and I miss those days so much. So yeah, this is a fun figure and I am really glad I picked him up. So there you go guys, Transformers Beast Wars reissue Cyber Shark. So does a Transformers Beast Wars reissue Cyber Shark belong in your collection? Well, if you're a Beast Wars fan, absolutely I Love this toy. I have had a blast messing with him on my desk for the last couple of days. Love the hidden gimmicks. The sculpted detail is great, especially on the face there. So yeah, this is an awesome Beast Wars toy. It's an awesome Transformers toy. I love this guy. So just because he wasn't featured in the show, don't use that as an excuse not to pick him up. Because if you don't, you're really missing out on a great figure. So yeah, you see Cyber Shark on the shelf, pick him up. You are not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have a new super thanks button that YouTube graciously gave me, and I also have channel memberships. And I want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!